Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you the Megascan integration comes with OpenLAN. So let's give it a try. Right now we have a decent set of textures, but we can do better. So definitely Megascan is a place that we can get really amazing textures. So let's try to change them. So here we have the ground layer. I need a much better texture. So I'll select my layer, ground. And this is the material layer. And then the texture should be something like mostly grass. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, I like it. About the sand, um, let's see the sand layer. Texture, we have something called Thai beach. Give it a try. Wow, oh, I don't like it. And then we have yeah, another one, dry sand. Okay. All right. Uh, yep, that might be better. Right, then let's go here. Here, this is a puddle area. So I need to change the texture of that. Right. And the texture should be, yep, Icelandic rocky ground. Give it a try. All right, that's nice. And here we have a pathway. I use custom one for that one. And the text should be black stone. Okay, design, boom. And here we have a rock cliff. Let's try to change one. It's a slope layer. And okay, now, no, that's not good. Yeah, as so of right now, I couldn't find anything uh, new. Of course, I can directly go back to the mega scan and find something new. But right now, I'll simply clear this. Now, in order to clear this change, I have to restart my level. So I'm going to do that right away. Right now, everything is still there and my rock texture, which is the slope layer is still using the original one. Yep. And this is what I want. And yep, I'm really uh, excited about this. Okay. Let me show you how to get this and use it. First of all, try to install OpenLAN into your project and create your landscape using the OpenLAN landscape material. So that's the one of the main requirements you have to do. And then go to edit plugins and search for editor scripting utilities this one make sure it's enabled okay i'm gonna close this and then go to your content directory open LAN, widgets there's a new widget called open land mega scan tools right click and run editor utility widget so now you have a widget like this before you use this go to your landscape go to details panel and search for dynamic and make sure to enable this use dynamic material instance otherwise we cannot change the actual textures in your landscape so make sure to have this then i can go to my widget so i can simply start changing then i can select my material layer the ground and the mega scan texture should be yeah something like this now we have preview likewise you can select the material layer and the mega scan texture uh, you can change the tiling near and the far away and if you need you can change the tint and simply assign if you think about these material layers basically they are our layers in our material so let me open our material instance right and if you search here we have this ground layer mid slope so likewise and these are the layers that you can see from here and of course you can change them you can simply open the master material and you can simply add new layers and do anything with that. As you add them, you can see them right in this drop down and you can simply use them. All right. And then once you add a mega scan texture layer like this, and you cannot modify that using the material instance, you can change most of the parameters, but you cannot change the texture. In order to do that, you need to simply clear that layer. Simply select the ground layer and simply hit this clear button. And now you have to restart your layer to apply this change. And that's the only thing you have to do. If you think about how we are doing this and it's pretty uh, straightforward as soon as you use this widget we will add a new actor in your project called openlan texture manager and this will save all these texture changes as well as it will enable them as needed for example if you're running the game this will try to enable them then if you go to details panel you have something called texture layers and you can visualize what are the layers we are keeping and some of the parameters that we use and if you did some anything wrong or things are not working as expected, what I do is simply delete this actor and restart your project and everything is back to normal. And of course, uh, try to contact me with the issue and we're happy to fix that. All right, and this is just the first version. A lot of cool things are coming soon. As of right now, of this video recording, we don't have UE5 support, but we're gonna do it pretty soon and you can have it by next week or so. All right, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.